What is going on you guys? AK40 Kevin here in the Gamer Heaven and today I am unboxing my Christmas present to myself. Yeah, I treated myself, splurged and got myself an Elgato Stream Deck XL. Let's see what she's made of. Hey boys, come over here closer to daddy. That's good. Push this piece of crap out of the way. Now, do I need, yes, I'm gonna need an unboxing knife. So let's go ahead and grab, uh, we'll do the fire goddess for this one. One of my favorite blades. Uh, I might not be sharp, but my knife is. What the hell? Maybe it's not. I've been using it a lot recently. Jesus Christ. All right, make sure you cut towards your fingers and towards your faces. Just kidding, don't do that. So in case you guys don't know, Elgato makes these stream decks that basically allow you to use these customizable keys to control um, everything from OBS, Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, even use it to edit videos in uh, video editing software. <laughs> it's very versatile, you can do all kinds of shit with it. And the one that most people get is the regular stream deck, which has 15 keys. Then there's the Stream Deck uh, Mini, or Micro, I believe it's called, which has six buttons. And then there's the big dog here, the XL, which has 32 programmable keys. Each one of these buttons is actually a little LCD screen, so you can change the uh, little GIF image on there, the little logo, so you know, are you changing scenes in your stream? Or are you, you know, tweeting uh, with one press that you're going live? You can also, you know, make Facebook announcements, you can, you know, set a be right back mode you can have little little videos funny videos pop up and play on your stream it's just really versatile like if you're a streamer i highly recommend getting one of these <clears throat> i really have wanted one of these since i set up my pc for streaming so you have your quick start guide here very good quality i kind of like the layout they did here it's uh blue on blue but everything's easy to read you got white text on there english good font very simple step-by-step -step instructions on how to configure your new Elgato Stream Deck, which I am excited to see. So, ooh, it's a big boy. I guess that's why they call it the XL. So the Stream Deck Mini is like having a four inch penis. It's, it's okay, it gets the job done and you can do a lot with it, it's pretty versatile. The regular Stream Deck's like having a six inch penis. It's pretty average, it's what most people have, what most people get, and uh, you make it work. And then the XL's like having a nice nine inch meat hammer that you can just destroy shit with. So hopefully that analogy helped you guys to visualize what this bad boy's capable of here. Big old nine inch schmeckle. All right, oh God. Oh, I don't think that's supposed to come out of there. That, I believe that stays in there. All right, and then you have this little tiny, uh, I don't even know what this is. I guess this is the full instruction manual. So the quick start guide looks really good. The actual instruction manual looks like a bag of dicks. <clears throat> so you have your cable that you actually use to plug it into your PC with, which I'm assuming is, yep, USB-C. I figured they wouldn't be using micro USB. I mean, it's 2019 for God's sakes. All right, I'm gonna rip this bad boy open. I'm excited. Oh, there she is. There's like a long white pube on there, or some kind of a, a lynx hair or something, I don't know. But anyway, so right now all the keys are black, but as soon as you plug it in, these bad boys are gonna illuminate and pop your cornea and scorch your soul with all these different keys. Oh, they have a really nice little clicky feel to them. Um, good feedback. They almost feel like a mechanical or something, really nice. Um, I believe this also has a stand with it. Um, oh, okay, I believe that's actually what's attached to it right now. It's somehow adjustable, so you can either have the stand removed so it lays down flat and flush like a keyboard, or you can have it um, propped up like that. I think I'm going to use it like that because you can see it a little bit better. You have, you know, better control of what you're pressing. As where if you just have it laying flat like that, I mean, honestly, that looks pretty good too, I'm not gonna lie. It has these little rubber feet on the bottom so it doesn't slide around your desk or anything like that, but I am probably going to keep this bad boy on here. 
Oh, and it's magnetized. That's so cool. It just snaps right on like that, and then this whole bottom is rubberized. It looks like it's already picked up some some crummies off my desk. I've been snacking in here, boys. Mom wouldn't like it. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna keep it like that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have it right. I'll probably have it over here to the left, um, so that way it doesn't really block the view of my PC, which I spent a lot of time building, so I want to put it on display and, you know, have it in all my videos so you guys can bask in its glory. Um, but the Stream Deck, I'll probably put over here on this general region. Um, then I've got my, of course, my boom mic with my pot filter on it and my headphones uh, kind of hanging on there. I kind of use it like a, kind of like a makeshift headphone stand. Um, cause I'm not going to pay for a headphone stand. I'm cheap. I'm actually getting a 3d printer in the near future to, um, take my controller building, um, side business to the next level. So I'm actually going to print myself a custom headphone stand to match the stormtrooper build. Should be pretty cool. Got a little off topic, but Hey, all right, let's plug this thing in and install the software and start playing with it. That's what I like to do in the evenings is play with it. So let's do that. So the only USB-C port I have on the back of my PC is actually connected to my um, graphics card. I have a GTX 2060 Super. Pretty bomb-ass graphics card. It's overclocked as well, no less. Um, where does this bad boy plug into? Looks like you pass that right through there. Yep, sure enough. Just passes through there like that. And where does it plug in at? Hmm. I feel like a dum-dum. Oh, uh, do I have any extra USB ports in the back? I don't fucking think so. Uh, well, I have some on the top here, but I don't like using them because it looks ugly cable management wise. But for now, fuck it. I'll plug it into the USB 3.0 port that I have on the top. I have two 2.0s and a USB 3.0 on the top of my PC. You can also get like little screen savers for this, like little dynamic moving screen savers that like play across all the little mini screens. Just really cool. So until you install the drivers, I don't know if it'll actually do anything. It might just be a nice paperweight until that happens. So let's do that now. I'm sure the quick start guide has instructions on how to install that. Alright, so you just go to elgato.com slash gaming slash download, or you can just Google Elgato Stream Deck and it'll take you, you can do a couple clicks and get your way to the installer. It works with Windows 10 64-bit. I think that's the only operating system it actually works with, but most computers nowadays use Windows 10 64-bit, so not a big deal. Alright, it is doing its thing. Sweet. So the installation took like literally 10 to 15 seconds and installed very quickly. Uh, you only have one button on the Stream Deck right now, which is a little welcome button, which when you press it, it takes you to this website congratulating you on your bomb ass purchase and giving you a video that you can use to get started. Which... So I'm running through the primary, the uh, initial setup of the Stream Deck right now. As you see, I've already got three little things on there. I've got record and stream for OBS. I also have turning my uh, main face camera on and off. But there's so many plugins here that come with the Stream Deck. You have a voice mod where you can, it's a voice changer where you can put effects on your voice and shit. Really cool. And they have like games that you can actually put on here. I don't know if it's, you know, how involved they are, but it's got Stream Deck games, Minecraft stats, uh, 4K capture utility, basically just ways that you can use it for all kinds of different platforms, all kinds of different software, whether you're doing uh, music production, you could use this to add in sound effects or you know split different tracks. Um, it's just super versatile. You don't necessarily have to be a streamer to use a Stream Deck. You can basically put its powers to use um, in any kind of multimedia format. So pretty impressive. Alrighty, so as you see, I have my Elgato Stream Deck XL all hooked up, and this is uh, basically the layout that I decided with. Um, I'm able to launch OBS, which is what I stream through, and then uh, I can immediately record or stream, and of course it gives you 
uh, a notification, like this will start blinking red. Actually, I'll show you guys now. Launch OBS. All right, OBS is launching. Streamlabs OBS. Now, I can hit record, and it shows me that I am... Oh, not really picking that up very good, is it? All right, so I just record a clip. You can stream. This turns my face camera on and off. Uh, these switch between four different... Uh, video modes I have. This is a live scene. There's Be Right Back. Starting soon. And then just like my little generic vlog setup. So, pretty sweet. Um, I have mute and unmute my microphone. I'm able to launch my video editing software. So when I'm editing my YouTube videos, I'm able to turn up and down my media volume. As well as pause and play. So. If you're watching a YouTube video or listening to music or whatever, you can control it from that. <clears throat> uh, I can launch RetroArch for if I'm going to be doing a retro gaming session. I can launch my Razer control panel if I want to control my Razer devices. Uh, my headphones are off right now, so right now it's just the Razer Landset mouse, but yeah. Uh, I can launch Steam. I also set quick URLs to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, this is a cool one. This can switch between my speakers and my headphones, which are hanging there on the mic. So that's really cool to be able to switch those two inputs on the fly. Um, as you see, it won't let them switch right now because the headphones are actually off. Um, I also have some sound effects here. Some crickets for when nobody's talking in the chat or whatever. Uh, record scratch for, you know, if somebody says something stupid or whatever. Um, got a little... Gotcha, bitch. Little Chappelle there, you know, when you finally get that guy that you've been trying to get for the last three matches. Gotcha, Hit him with that. Um, these three modes here are different audio modes for my vocalizer program. So when it's off, you just you sound normal. When it's on, you have like you know a deep voice, robot voice, whatever. These are quick keys to dim and brighten the screen. Actually, I think for this video. It picks it up a little bit better if it's a little dimmer. Uh, I have a little timer here, so if I want to time how long I've been gaming or time like, a, you know, whatever I'm doing, you know, like a work session or whatever. And then this is my CPU usage. Um, as you see, she's currently really straining herself at 2%. So really awesome. Um, the, the XL does come with 32 keys. The regular comes with 15. And the, uh, the micro penis comes with six keys, which... I mean, the six isn't enough. I could make do with 15 because I did kind of have some keys in here that I really don't need. Um, but it's just nice to have those extra keys. And the XL is a little bit more practical because it's so large, it comes with this little stand in the back that's magnetized. So if you don't want that, you can pop it off and lay it uh, flat. But, you know, it's I just like to have it on there because it faces my control center, as I like to call it. And yeah, this is my current setup right now. I love this thing. I've got to say this is probably, honestly, like one of the coolest things I've ever owned because not it's not just for streaming video games and stuff like that. You can use it for video editing, music production, even just regular computer tasks like instantly opening your email or switching between like different inputs on your monitors. So it's just really practical. Um, it can also control like Philips Hue lighting in your room. So if you go live and you want like your lights to fade in or something, you can also link it up with Nano Leaf. So if you want like a different pattern behind you, you can set that. Um, and it can do a whole slew of other really badass shit. So I'll be making probably quite a few videos on this on like how to get different wallpapers for it and unlock different third party features and shit like that. So, all right guys, peace.